Greetings, seekers of wisdom and wanderers of the mind. Welcome to a new exploration into the grand tapestry of thought. Today, we navigate the lush, verdant valleys of dreamy contemplation, the ravines of reverie. Just as a river carves its path through the bedrock, creating deep gorges and valleys over millennia, so too does the ceaseless stream of thought etch its course through the landscape of our consciousness. Prepare yourselves for a deep dive into the meandering streams of contemplation, a journey through the verdant valleys of reverie, where the waters of wisdom and the mists of mystery merge. What is it about these valleys of contemplation that beckons us so? Is it the allure of the unknown, the promise of undiscovered wisdom, or the thrill of exploring the uncharted territories of our minds? The valleys of contemplation are the birthplace of countless ideas, philosophies, and theories. They are the crucible in which our understanding of the world and our place within it are forged. Here, in the depths of these verdant chasms, thoughts flow like rivers, carving out new pathways and shaping the landscape of our consciousness. They are a refuge for the weary, a sanctuary for the curious, and a playground for the adventurous. In these valleys, we are given the freedom to explore, to question, to ponder. We are allowed to wrestle with the contradictions of existence, to grapple with the mysteries of the universe, and to seek answers to the most profound questions of life. It is in the ravines of reverie that we often find our deepest truths, our most profound insights. They are the fertile ground in which the seeds of wisdom take root, growing into the towering trees of knowledge that define our worldview. It is here, amidst the serene beauty and the tranquil silence, that we often find the answers we seek. Philosophers, thinkers, and scholars from all epochs and cultures have traversed these deep valleys of contemplation. Socrates, the luminary of ancient Greece, ventured into these ravines, seeking to understand the nature of wisdom. His exploration led him to the conclusion that, I know that I know nothing. An admission of humility that continues to echo through the ages. In the East the Buddha walked these valleys, his contemplations leading him to the Four Noble Truths and the path to enlightenment. His words, all that we are is the result of what we have thought underscore the power of contemplation in shaping our reality. In more recent times, the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche delved into these ravines of reverie. His existential contemplations resulted in his famous proclamation, God is dead. A statement that continues to reverberate through the philosophical discourse, challenging our understanding of morality, faith, and the human condition. The influence of these contemplative valleys extends beyond the realm of philosophy and permeates art and culture. In literature, authors such as Henry David Thoreau and Virginia Woolf have often written about the act of contemplation, using it as a tool to explore the depths of the human psyche. Music, too, is a testament to the power of contemplation. Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, composed in the throes of deafness, is a poignant reflection of the composer's inner turmoil and his contemplation of his place in the world. The haunting melody resonates with the echoes of his contemplation, providing a glimpse into the depths of his soul. In the current era, the valleys of contemplation have become the subject of much debate and discussion. As our lives become increasingly digitized and fast-paced, the importance of contemplation and reflection is often overlooked. Yet, there are those who argue for the necessity of these valleys in our collective consciousness. Some contend that in these times of information overload, we must retreat into these valleys, using contemplation as a tool to process and understand the deluge of data. Others argue that contemplation is key to fostering empathy and understanding in an increasingly polarized world. The importance of the valleys of contemplation cannot be overstated. They are the birthplace of wisdom, the wellspring of creativity, and the sanctuary of the soul. As we move forward into an uncertain future, the need for these ravines of reverie becomes ever more crucial. They offer us a space to reflect, to question, to explore, and to understand ourselves and the world around us. In the depth of these valleys, we find the essence of our humanity. The water that flows through these valleys is the lifeblood of our consciousness, nourishing the landscape of our minds and shaping our understanding of existence.
Thank you for embarking on this journey through the ravines of reverie with me. Your presence and your curiosity are the fuel that drives this exploration, and your participation is deeply valued. As we part ways, I invite you to carry the spirit of this exploration with you. Reflect on the role of contemplation in your life. How has it shaped your understanding of the world? What valleys of contemplation beckon you, and what wisdom might they hold? Look forward to our next journey, where we will delve into another facet of our shared human experience. Until then, may the rivers of thought guide your way, and the valleys of contemplation be your sanctuary. Stay curious, stay reflective, and remember, the journey is as important as the destination.